Okay, I always use a Pigma Micron pen. I always use the 08, which is the widest tip pen that uh, Pigma Micron makes. I always use black, though of course you could use any color. This is just kind of my deal, is that I like the black writing. Um, and I'm working on a piece of solid fabric. Again, I always use solid fabric when I'm doing handwriting. I think it shows up best. And the idea is that I'm adding a print to the fabric. So um, I'm changing this solid into an original print. This is Kona um, solid. The ink takes great to the Kona fabric, but other solid fabrics are also fine. I do have some Wonder Under adhered to the back. You can see that I pieced it because I had scraps. I have not yet peeled off the release paper. That'll give the fabric a little bit of stability, though I don't always do that. Sometimes I do the handwriting straight on the fabric without any stabilizer whatsoever, and I just kind of hold the fabric flat and straight as I go. Um, there are other pens that would work great. Micron is just kind of what I've gotten accustomed to. They don't last very long, so I do try to make sure that I have a nice, fresh, inky pen um, always available for when I want to add some handwriting. So here we go. I'm just going to talk through uh, as I go. I'm working on a quilt and I'm actually going to write what I'm saying uh, to start here just so I can get going and I can generate some ideas. Um, I'm working on a quilt that will include the life cycle of the allium plant. So you can see that I um, am writing really exaggerated lines. I'm not wanting these words to be read at all. I want the viewer to look at them and think that they're handwriting but not want to get in there and try to decipher what they mean. Um, I am exaggerating, see there's the X in exaggerating, um, I'm exaggerating some of my lines and swirls so that I have a nice mix there's another X of loops and lines. Uh, more importantly, sometimes I write a little bit about what the themes are in the quilt that I'm working on. So this is a little bit about growth and I am also remembering the alliums I planted when I lived in Texas. So here we go. Um, I'm crunching these lines together so that they're overlapping, which again suggests handwriting, but makes them a bit obscured. So I'm going to keep writing here and uh, think a little bit about what themes come out for me. Something to keep in mind is to um, keep the scale somewhat even. Sometimes I do writing that's much, much teenier and tighter. Sometimes I do writing that's bigger and looser, but for one piece of fabric, I want the scale to remain pretty much consistent. So I'm going to try to stick with this same size, this same distance between the lines, and this same kind of loopiness and uh, density. When I get to the end of the line, if I'm in the middle of the word, I just stop and continue the word at the beginning of the other side. Um, I'm loosening up my wrist and my fingers and really just um, 
disconnecting almost my hand from my brain so that the physical connection is just barely there, just enough to guide my hand so that it suggests letter shapes. <laughs> 